Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Every season, a group of players come into the year knowing this will be their last at UND. You know, looking back, I'm probably going to say something that everybody else says, and you know, it's you blink your eyes and it's over. Um, I can always, I can remember pulling up to Walsh Hall when I was a freshman, just you know, anxious to get out of my car and unpack my car and you know, start setting my dorm up. But it's. It's one of those things that you, you have such an unbelievable time here and you, you make some unbelievable friendships and you meet some unbelievable people and you're just part of something that's, that's so special and, and part of something that's bigger than yourself and bigger than probably anything that you know, a lot of us will probably ever play for. It's, it's really surreal and um, you know, looking back at it, I wish I would have just told myself, like, live in the moment. It, was, it hasn't been that sad for me, you know, it's been, uh... Uh, more of a happy year for me that I've had three good years behind me and, and I've been looking forward to, the, to this last season in terms of just doing my best and, and kind of uh, you know, cherishing every game and, and having a mentality just to you know, do my best and uh, in, enjoy the, the months, the last months I have on this team and it's honestly in a way kind of taking the pressure off me a little bit and I've been able to just uh, really enjoy the season more, more so than other seasons because I just haven't put a ton of, you know, pressure pressure on myself, stress on myself, and uh, it's been really nice. I've been playing good, good hockey and just, you know, more importantly, enjoying it. Yeah, well, I, honestly, not. I don't really try to think about that because that's a really sad thought in my mind. But I mean, at the end of the day, you just kind of look back and you're so thankful for the last four years that you've had, the the memories, the the friendships, and. Just everything that goes along with college, you just, you just can't uh, ever live that again. And it's, it's so much fun, and there's not a better place in the world that I'd like to experience that than here at the University of North Dakota. My decision to come to UND was very easy. Um, I was fortunate enough that my mom was able to come up here when I came on a visit, and they treated her just like, you know, she was a, a part of the, the family here. And, um, you know, just coming and seeing everything that they had and um, the alum that they have and, you know, kind of the standard that they hold you, hold you to here and um, how they really get you ready for the next level is a very easy decision for me and, um, you know, fortunate enough I was, I was able to commit here and um, looking back at it, it was the best decision that I ever made. This year, four will soon step on the ice for the final time and say their goodbyes. 
I said, I've been around these guys for four years, especially freshman year, um, in Walsh, and then living with uh, Trevor and Tucker for two years, and uh, certainly going to miss that lifestyle, just being able to hang around your, your best friend and teammates, and you know, talk about hockey, talk about the, the, the good things and the bad things with the team. Those, those times spent with him are going to be missed. To be honest, I think it's just the, the the team, the guys, you know, if you move on to a business or if you move on to play professional hockey, we hear, you know, past student athletes say, you know, it's nothing's, nothing's like having a team. I get to spend, I spent four years with some of my best friends and they'll be my best friends forever. And I think just the camaraderie of the group as a whole, all the relationships that you've made, obviously they'll stay intact, but it won't be as uh, tight of a group once you leave here. And I think that's probably the saddest part. This group of seniors has experienced more than most senior classes. Yeah, when you think about it, a lot of a lot of players play college hockey, but there's not a lot of players that have the opportunity to say that they're a national champion in the, at the college level, and that's I'm very proud to be able to say that I'm a national champion at the University of North Dakota, and I'll always remember that, and I, uh, I mean, there's no better place. I'd rather have that accomplishment uh, taking place. When it came down to it, it was just a full team effort, you know, guys in, both in and out of the lineup, just being part of the group. It was, there was no, you know, guys thinking, oh, I should be in the lineup in this situation or, you know, the opposite, you know. It just, uh, it was a full group effort. And like I said, the team that we had, I don't think uh, chemistry could get any better. Um, there weren't a lot of down times that year. Uh, we just had, we had a pretty good group and it was, it was a pretty emotional ride. I was just thinking I gotta try and get my helmet and my gloves off as, as quick as possible because you know I remember just seeing all those guys coming at me and I remember Coach Barry putting all the seniors out on the ice for you know their last last shift as, as part of the University of North Dakota and um, you know seeing everybody finally jump over the boards and that clock ticked down and the place was going wild I remember it was probably like three fourths UND fans and um, you know it was a really 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 surreal experience. It was really cool, uh, just being able to affect the fans like that. Uh, obviously, they're a huge part of this program, and they have been for so long. And uh, you know, there's a time lapse there where they haven't been treated with the national championship, and just being able to be a part of that to give that back to the fans and the people of Grand Forks, uh, and just seeing their reaction, uh, it was pretty cool because. You know, we wanted to flip a Prius, but we couldn't. So, uh, you know, it was just, it was, it was, it was pretty cool to see. The, the social media and all the reactions from all the fans, it's, it's pretty, it's nuts. It's, I mean, it just shows how, how strong and uh, supportive our fan base is. And I mean, people say that we have the number one fan base in, in the world or in all of sports. And I mean, that just clearly shows and kind of proves that point. And I mean, I agree with everyone that says that. I mean, we go to many away games and we have more North Dakota fans than there are fans at uh, the, the site that we're at. So it's just nuts. And we thank them for all the uh, support and uh, continual support that they will show throughout the uh, upcoming years. Knowing where you will fall in the entire history of this program is hard to think about for these gentlemen, knowing the greatness that has come before them and will come after them. We've done a lot of great things here as a class. Uh, obviously with Nick Schmaltz leaving after his sophomore year and Tucker Pullman after his junior year, both playing NHL games, NHL minutes. Um, and then you got Pogo, Cam, myself and Simo, um, able to stay all four years and just, you know, all six of us being able to be part of a Penrose Cup and a national championship team and um, I just feel that, that we've, um, we've done well, we've done well here. Yeah, well hopefully we, uh, 
we made our mark in, uh, in history, obviously winning a national championship, I think that's pretty special and I mean I'm going to be proud, proud of that for the rest of my life and be able to tell many stories about that but hopefully we left uh, a very positive legacy on the university, hopefully we continue the history throughout the rest of this year and uh, hopefully we've passed on the history and tradition to the younger generations. As with every senior class, these four try to pass on what they've learned down to those who will listen. The advice that I'd pass down um, would have to be that you got to work hard. Um, you can't take shortcuts. Nothing, nothing's, gar nothing's guaranteed. Nothing's given to you. You got to earn everything here. It, it doesn't matter whether you're a first rounder, or walk on, a full ride, whatever. Um, you know, you got to work hard, and you can't take shortcuts. And, you know, the guys that take shortcuts are the guys that get weeded out. So, um, you know, you come, you come to a place like this, and um, you're part of something that's bigger than yourself. And um, you know, they know that, everybody around here knows that, and they're gonna play the guys that wanna play, the guys that wanna be here, the, the guys that wanna work and get better. Yeah, I think, uh, I think one of the messages I like to, you know, give to those guys is kind of what the older guys taught me is, you know, everybody's here for a reason. You, you know, the second you start to question your abilities or, or why, um, things aren't going your way is when you start to lose your confidence and uh, I think the, the biggest thing in college hockey is your confidence and uh, I've learned that um, time in and time again like it's it's a pretty powerful thing and when you lose that you know you start to question everything about you as a player so I would say don't worry you're here you're here you're you're playing with some of the best players uh, in college hockey, there's a reason you're here. Don't ever doubt yourself. Don't ever second guess who you are. Yeah, well, the tradition and history here at the University of North Dakota is so rich and so powerful. And as a leader here, I, I take a lot of responsibility to continue to pass down that uh, tradition and uh, history and show how important the program is to uh, not just us players, but to the fans and to everyone that, that's ever gone to school here or played hockey here. And I mean, it's a great place and there's no place like it. No losing, we're winning, bring the brooms out, we'll be sweeping, then the band plays our fight song, students will be cheering all night long. Last week we battled hard so we knew we'd be, ranking up in the nation number two, yeah we're UND, plus I know the students always there for me. Score goals and compete, that's a hacksaw winning recipe. Every time we're home, it's another sellout. Best fans, it's like a six man playing with us. Tickets, yeah, they're not cheap, not cheap. It's sold out in the rout. No seats, students waiting all night. No sleep, trip the teams, yeah, that's all our fan. So tonight we're playing shut down deep, sniping top cheese, UND scoring, that cheerers trip deep. Could try me, no lie, no fantasy. We'll hang an eighth banner for all the fans to see. That's Tradee.